Hello everyone, Mr. Siren Smoover here, back in the swing of modding back for blood. So today I'm going to be discussing a tool that I developed which will allow you to compress images in the format that back for blood reads them using the public domain plugin that Unreal actually uses on the back end. So you'll be able to do this without installing all of Unreal uh, and wasting all that space on your drive if all you want to do is textures. So what we're going to do is first we want to navigate to your game files. So here I have prepared the textures for the hatchet. So this is where they're located. So we're going to go ahead and take the, these three files. BC stands for base color. So those are the ones we're going to be editing. First, I'm going to back them up. So I'm just going to add them to a zip file. And then I'm going to put them in my folder that I'm working in. This is the crunch plugin from Unreal, my script that I've written, and two template files. So first things first, we're going to want to extract the image that's stored in this ubulk file. So we're going to open up umodel, which I'll leave in the description, and we're going to open up that file in 4.25. And here's our hatchet image. And we're going to export that to the same folder. Next, we have our TGA. So we're going to want to edit this in any way that we want. So for now, I'm just going to make some purple scribbles. All right, so we have our hatchet. One thing that we want to make sure is that our texture has to be 2048 by 2048. So this one is 1024 by 1024. So I'm going to make a new one that's the proper size and scale this one up. Now that we have our texture properly sized, we're going to save that as a PNG, make sure that it's a PNG. Uh, and we're going to name it the same as the original. So that would be this. We're going to take this name. We're going to save that in the same folder. We can go ahead and close out that. And we're going to want to delete our original DGA. And we're going to want to delete these three assets because what we're going to do now is we're going to use our template file so these are what specify the parameters of the image and the u bulk is actually what stores the image itself so first we're going to take our png drag it onto our python script and that should generate our u bulk for us So once our u bulk is done, we're going to copy our template and we're going to rename those to the same thing. And we have one last step, which is we need to open this u asset file in asset editor, which I will also link in the description. So we're going to open our hatchet u asset file and we're going to have to go into our header list and take the name again and replace it right here where it says C017C. The reason it says that is because this comes from multiverses, but we're going to want to put that there. And this first line actually doesn't really matter, so we can forget that. We just need to replace this one line here, and then we can go ahead and save it. So now we have our three files already. We're going to copy those and put them back where we got them from. And now I'm just going to start up the game. I can't believe I pulled out of those. All right, so we're in the game, and we're going to go ahead and check out our hatchet. Uh, change the default skin. Look at that beautiful purple squiggle. I love it. Wouldn't you play with this? I certainly would. Let's go check it out.
There it is. Beautiful purple squiggle. I love it. Alright. Well, that's it for me. Hopefully this is a very quick and easy way to mod skins in the game. Uh, and it works on pretty much everything. So, hopefully you guys can go ahead and make use of that. Alright, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.